Google quietly released a ton of free AI tools this year and most people either don't know they exist or have no idea what they're actually useful for. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through seven completely free Google AI tools that you might not know about. And by the end, you might even cancel some of your paid subscriptions and use these instead. First is build inside of their AI studio. This is their vibe coding tool that builds web apps from plain English descriptions, landing pages, forms, or even internal tools. It instantly integrates with all of Google's AI features, such as image and video generation, along with access to Gemini. And one of the best parts is you don't even need to add API keys. It's all integrated into the platform seamlessly. If you've ever vibe coded, this is basically a free version of Lovable. All right, so to access build inside of Google AI Studio, first of all, just look up Google AI Studio, and there's gonna be a link to each of these in the description of the video. And you're gonna see this interface here. It says, build your ideas with Gemini. You can see pre-made templates of apps and games that other users have created. It even gives us a couple of different options here to use different AI integrations into our app. So let me go ahead and give it a prompt now. All right, so here's my prompt. Build me an app that allows me, a YouTube content creator, to upload an image of myself as a reference image. And essentially, I'm not gonna give a whole breakdown of this prompt, but basically, I wanna be able to upload one image of myself and then create different expressions with AI-generated images that I could use in my thumbnails, just like you would see in any of my thumbnails on my YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna select build and it's going to spin up this preview here and I'm gonna let it do its thing. It's gonna code the app and then I'm gonna test it out. All right guys, so a couple minutes later, we have this amazing simple looking app and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. So I uploaded this image of myself. This is our identity. And then we could basically upload a either a target pose, which is recreating somebody else's pose or expression from an image. Or I could just select these pre-made templates here. So let's do a couple. Let's do shocked, shushing, let's do confused, wink, and let's go extra clickbait and click money slash rich. And it's now gonna generate these images here. It's using Nano Banana directly inside of Google AI Studio. I don't need to select any API keys or anything. It just automatically generates them. And look at that, in a couple of seconds, we have these expressions that we could then use for thumbnails. This one, that's definitely very clickbaity, but like this one right here looks really solid. And this one's a little clickbaity, but these are really, really good. I can instantly download the image here. And then let's say I wanted to actually publish this app. We could simply come up here, click deploy app, and we just need to select a project here. And once we select a project, we could deploy it and we'll have a custom URL. We could access this on any browser or we could even send it to a friend. Not only that, but we could also save this to GitHub. So it'll push all the code to GitHub. And if we wanna make changes in something like Claude code or even anti-gravity, we could begin doing that there. But guys, this is one of the best vibe coding tools out there. It's completely free. The only thing you have to pay for is the image generation or any of the AI tools. So if you use VO3 to generate a video, for example, you are gonna have to pay per each video generated, but you don't need to build an AI powered app. If you just build a normal app or website, then you don't need to pay anything. Next, we have Google Stitch. This is Google's design first AI tool that lets you generate clean structured UI layouts from a single text prompt. You describe the app and Stitch creates real screens, components, and layouts that actually look production ready. The best part is you can import these directly into Google AI Studio and turn them into a working app. Let me show you exactly what I mean. All right, so in order to access Google Stitch, you're just gonna look up Google Google Stitch. And again, there's gonna be a link to access this in the description if you're too lazy to actually go ahead and look this up yourself. And so we're gonna see this interface. And this is kind of similar to Google AI Studio, but I'm gonna explain why these two platforms work together seamlessly and they're super powerful when you use them together. So first of all, I could just simply describe what I wanna build just like inside of Google AI Studio. And I could even select whether or not I wanna use a mobile app or a web app design. And I'm gonna start with a mobile app and I could select any of the AI models. We're gonna use Gemini 3.0 Pro because that's the best coding model out there inside of Google's ecosystem. And it's the best at creating user interface designs when vibe coding. So I'm gonna select generate and it's gonna pull up this user interface here that is a canvas-like interface. And it's gonna be our board where we're gonna basically craft our app design inside of Stitch. All right, and just like that, a couple of minutes later, look at this design. This was generated using only AI. I didn't do any coding on the background to generate this and this looks flawless. This looks amazing. And what we could do is we could actually go ahead and make changes to this. So for example, we could either click on this, we could click edit, we could add it back to chat and we could either type in and describe what we wanna change or we could even click on this annotate feature where we could simply select something and 
make a change to it. So for example, if I wanted to remove this section or basically make a change to anything on this app design, I could simply do that. So let me show you something else we could do. I'm gonna click on this page here and then let's just click this 3X button and then say, create three more designs of this page. And then from there, you can see it's spinning up three more design previews and we could choose whichever one we want. We could make other iterations to it. And this is a perfect way to perfect the way that our app looks and the user interface design for building it into a functional app using something like Google AI Studio. And then after I show these three mockups here and choose whichever one's my favorite, I'm then gonna show you a hack that will import all of this directly into Google AI Studio to build this into a functional app. All right, so now we have three more variations. And honestly, I like this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I could simply just delete these other versions and we could drag all of these pages together. I'm going to delete this one as well. And then from here, what I could do, and this is the really fun and the really cool part is I could simply select all of these pages. I could select more, click export and click on AI studio and then say, make this a real app. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring you to Google AI studio, which I just showed you previously and click on build. And it's now going to turn this into an app that we could actually start using. And it's not just a prototype. Next, we have Gemini Canvas. This is Google's AI workspace built for thinking, writing, and refining ideas with Gemini working right alongside you. Instead of just prompting and getting answers like a normal AI, you and the AI work inside the same living document. It's perfect for organizing messy ideas, rewriting content, or thinking through problems step by step. And it can even make interactive apps for you to use in the Canvas. So let me show you exactly what I mean. All right, so now let's actually start using Gemini Canvas and I'm gonna show you exactly how you could use it in some different use cases. So I'm gonna click on try canvas. There's gonna be a link in the description. So I'm gonna give it this prompt. This is basically a short form video script that I used. And I'm basically saying, turn this into a newsletter post. And I'm gonna show you exactly what this is gonna look like when I click on submit. So let's let it do its thing. And I'll show you exactly what it's gonna do. All right, so take a look at this. We now have this document that we can make edits to. So for example, we could change the heading. We could change the style. We could even write in some extra things here. We could ask Gemini to make changes, but what I want to focus on is this create button. So let me click on create and I could even turn this into a web page, an infographic, a quiz, flashcards, or even an audio preview. So I'm going to click on web page and it will basically take all of these seven free AI tools from Google and make it an interactive web page that we can interact with. All right, guys. So it took that document and turned it into this interactive web page for us to actually learn about these seven different AI tools. For example, I could click on on each of these and you can see Google Stitch, AI interface designer, what it is, build custom app designs in minutes, type a prompt and it generates fully responsive layouts that look professionally designed. We could even click on add to stack. So it's basically a visual explainer of all of that text information that I gave it. And this is the power of Gemini Canvas. Next is Notebook LM. This is Google's AI research assistant that turns your documents into something you could actually interact with. For example, you could upload PDFs, notes or articles and instantly get summaries, answers, mind maps, and even interactive podcast styled breakdowns. For example, I uploaded a PDF that would usually take hours to read and it generated a podcast episode with AI characters that will just keep you engaged throughout. Notebook LM pulls insights directly from your sources and shows you where everything's coming from. If you've never tried this tool, I highly recommend you try it out because I genuinely think this will make it fun for anybody to learn in an interactive way. All right, so here we have Notebook LM. So I'm gonna click on try Notebook LM here there's going to be a link in the description to use this. And we are going to see this interface here. We have different featured notebooks, which looks like there are other articles or PDFs that other people have used to actually research. However, I'm going to select create new notebook now. And right here, we could just simply upload whatever PDF or link or even text that we want to upload. And it could even connect to our Google workspace. So we could upload something from Google Drive. All right, so what I'm going to upload is this AI 2027 document. If you've never seen this before, this is a very comprehensive deep dive into the future of AI, or at least speculation of the future of AI. It, there's so much information here and reading this can be a pain. It took me like 45 minutes on a plane when I wanted to actually go ahead and read this. So instead, what we could do is we could upload this and we could then see this interface and we could interact with this in an interesting way. So we could add any of our sources here. And then you could see in our, inside of our studio, we have these different toggles. We have audio overview, video overview. We have mind maps, reports, flash 
flashcards, quizzes, infographics, slide deck, and data tables. So let me just click on mind map to show you exactly what I mean. And I'm going to show you a couple of these different interactive ways that we could begin interacting with this document. So if I pull it up, we now have this mind map that was mapped. And this is basically condensing all that information inside the PDF. For example, you can see AI 2027 forecast capabilities milestones. It breaks down each of these by category. So I want you to imagine how this might change the way you learn information. So this is just one simple example, this mind map here. Let me actually go ahead and generate another output. So I'm going to click on audio overview, and this is where it's actually going to generate a podcast. And then I'm also going to actually click on flashcards, and it will turn this PDF document into an interactive flashcard app for me to actually study and learn this topic. All right, so it looks like our flashcards are now ready. Let me click on this and begin interacting with it. In 2027 scenario, what fictional company represents the leading US AGI developer? I'm actually not sure. So let me just click and see the answer. So you can see this is a very simple interactive flashcard game. And there's and it looks like there's actually 68 different flashcards that were generated. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this. We now have this podcast that generated. Let's take We've a listen. Seen the headlines. I mean, it feels like every single year somebody promises that AGI is just around the corner. Hmm. We're almost trained now to hear AGI and just... And, and... Well, shockingly plausible. Hmm. Where we get growth-altering super intelligence by 2027. 2027. That, that's not... All right, so you can see it's an interactive podcast. And so we could learn just by listening to this podcast instead of having to read through that document. And then look at this. We even have this interactive mode where we could join this podcast conversation and interact with them. We've all seen the headlines. I mean, it feels like, oh, hey, I think our listeners got something to say. What's up, guys? Can you explain to me this AI 2027 thing in just like one sentence? What's up? That is a great question. Okay, let's unpack this with a single sentence. Here's the core idea of AI 2027. Super intelligence arrives by the end of the decade, potentially exceeding the impact of the Industrial Revolution. So I don't this need to... I don't need to play that whole thing, but you guys could just hopefully see the power of using Notebook LM. And there's so many other features you could use inside of this. But now let's move on to the next free AI tool from Google. Next is Google Opal. This is Google's tool for building AI agents and workflows without writing any code. And it turns them into an interactive mini app that you can share with your friends. So here's how it works. You basically just describe what you want the agent to do and it'll build the entire workflow for you. You can either use it to automate tasks, chain AI actions, together or build simple agents. And it seamlessly connects with all of Google's AI features. So let me show you exactly what I mean. All right, so here is Google Opal. We actually have a gallery here of pre-made different interactive web apps and workflows. So let me just try one out now. So we have interior designer. And what we could do is you could actually see we have this canvas-like interface and it looks like NADN or even make.com if you've used these automation tools. And it's just basically a progression of nodes that will actually facilitate our workflow for us. And let me show you exactly how this works. So first of all, we're in editor mode. If I click on app, you can see we now have this kind of interactive app interface. So I'm gonna click on start. And now I could just upload an image of a room. So let's take this empty room here and then just simply upload this. Now I'm gonna go on to the next step here. Describe your desired interior. Let's just say I want it to feel modern and Scandinavian. And then if I actually go to the editor, you could see that it's in the phase of actually going through this work flow because it was highlighting this section right here. And just like that, we have this image that it generated. And as you can see, this is obviously a very simple app that it built, but let me show you exactly what this workflow looks like if I click on each of these nodes. So for each node, we have very specific prompts. So you can see that it has this prompt explaining what we want our app to do and how we want it to generate images. It uses a room image as an input, uses a design style, and none of this stuff right here we need to configure ourselves. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you could build your own and just one single prompt. You could click on create new and we could just describe what we want to build. Build me an app that allows users to upload an image of any room and it will furnish that entire room for them. So I'm going to send this off to Google Opal. And there we go. Just like that, we now have this workflow. Looks very similar to the previous one. And we have this custom app here we could start using. We could even share our app and send it to a friend. So now that we saw Google Opal, let's move on to our next free AI tool from Google. Next is Pomeli. This is Google's AI tool built for creating content content that actually stays on brand.
Basically, you could paste in a link to your website or existing brand content, and Pameli learns your voice, tone, and your brand identity automatically. From there, it generates new content that looks on brand with your company. So let me show you exactly how easy this is to use. All right, so let's dive into Pameli now so we can start creating content for our brand in seconds. So I'm gonna show you how simple and easy this is to use. All right, so let's go ahead and use Pameli now to generate content for our brand. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to use. So I'm gonna click on let's get started. All right, so let's now use Pameli to generate content for our brand in literally seconds. This is so easy to use. First of all, we could generate a business DNA, get campaign ideas, and then even generate the creatives for that using this tool. So I'm gonna click on let's go. I'm gonna upload a link to my website. And basically what it's gonna do is it's going to crawl and analyze my website and then pull my brand identity so we could then generate content similar to what my website looks like. So you could see this is what the interface of my website looks like. It's gathering all this information. Let's let it do its thing and come back in a couple of minutes. All right, so that did not take a couple of minutes. That took maybe 30 seconds. It pulled all this information out. You could see Loom. This is the name of my business website. You could see the logo. It shows the fonts that we use. It shows the colors. It even shows the taglines, the values, brand aesthetics, and tone of voice for you know my website and my brand. Next, I could click on looks good. And from here, we could just generate content for our brand on autopilot. Can you generate a Instagram story that's basically talking about how we're looking for creators to join our agency. So I'm gonna give it that idea there. It's now generating these different AI creatives that we can you know, begin utilizing for our brand. And since it knows what my business is all about from my website, we don't need to explain kind of context on what it is that we do. All right, so I like this one, stop leaving revenue on the table. And now it's actually generating these different ad creatives and images using Pameli by Google. All right, so here's what it generates it's using a similar typography to what I use on the website. It doesn't look like it's using the same colors or anything, but you could see we now have these different creatives that we could then use. These are, for example, Instagram stories we could go ahead and post right now. This tool is definitely more of an experimental tool. It's not perfect right now, but I see this being a tool that we really could utilize here over the next coming years. Lastly, we have Music FX. This is Google's AI music generation tool that lets you create original music from simple text prompts. You can describe the vibe of the music, the instruments, or the mood, and Music FX generates tracks that you could actually use. For example, it's perfect for background music, short form videos, or any creative projects without worrying about any copyright issues. I will say this is definitely an experimental tool, but it's pretty fun to play around with. So let me show you how to use it. Here is the interface of Music FX. So let me go ahead and generate a track now. I'm gonna use this I'm feeling lucky button where it's basically going to generate kind of a prompt for me and an idea for my track that I'm actually looking to create. So let's let it do its thing and then let's see what it gives us. All right, so here's what it generated. The prompt is ambient sounds I would listen to by the ocean. So let's see how spot on this is. That is pretty ambient, I will say. And it looks like it generated three different tracks. Yeah, those are pretty solid. Now, let me go ahead. I'm gonna start over and let's just test out another one. I like this one right here, optimistic melody about the arrival of spring. So let's just generate three different tracks of this. All right, let's take a listen to this. I'm not sure how well you could sound that, but that's, you know, pretty cool sounding. I don't know if I'd call that a song, but it's more like background music you could use for content or whatever use case you could think of. What we could do is we could also download this audio file or we could even copy and share the link for a friend to use. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are seven free AI tools from Google that you should try out in 2026. And at the rate that they've been dropping these free AI tools, I could imagine we're gonna see even more going into 2026. So if you want to stay up to date with that, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment below what your favorite tool is that I showcase in this video. And thank you for staying to the end and I'll see you guys in the next video.